Look out Adobe, Generative AI's got some more players in the game, and it's pretty legit. For designers, video editors, or visual effect artists, Prome AI is a perfect alternative to Adobe's generative tools. It lets you create or modify practically anything with its powerful AI features. It's especially exciting because the video tools are still in beta, but the potential is huge. As Adobe is coming out later this year with generative AI for Premiere Pro, this should be an amazing battle I'm excited to watch. As far as Prome AI goes, there's tons of tools like text to video, AI image generator, photo to sketch, sketch rendering, just to name a few. So without further ado, let's dive into Prome AI software. Okay, so I'm on Prome AI website. You can see all the crazy things that you could do from image editing to image generation to background diffusion and even some video stuff that's in beta. Now I'm not gonna go through every tool in detail, but I'm gonna try to breeze through everything I can. Okay, starting out on the side panel here, I'm just gonna go down the list. So you have sketch rendering. So if you have you know floor plans that you wanna turn into actual pictures, I'm just gonna upload, I have a doodle here, kids doodle, and you could add your criteria. I'm gonna pick countryside landscapes for this one. And in render mode here, you have settings where you could change and optimize your results. And you could also add a style reference. So I'm gonna hit generate and I'm gonna just see what this comes out with. And you can see right away, I mean, it's flawless based on what the image, the original image was. So I'd say this is a really, really good job. I'm gonna take a more stylized approach and I'm gonna use this sketch here. And I'm gonna type in my prompt. I'm gonna add maybe sci-fi for this one and I'll hit generate. And you can see it does an amazing job. You see the before and after here, it maintains all the lines, the structure's fantastic. So sketch rendering, really cool effect. Then you have AI image generator. So this is basically like your Firefly. You could just add a prompt and you know create an image. It gives you a lot of different things you could you could choose from. So if I wanted to do conceptual art, let's say I chose fantasy, scene, you could choose the type of scene. So let's say I'll do game scene, perspective. You could do a headshot, portrait shot, side view, top view. So you could specify it or you could just leave it blank and see what it comes back with. I'm gonna choose long shot and then I'll hit generate. Okay, that's pretty good based on the criteria that I gave it. So that's pretty good compared to other image generators like Microsoft Image Generator and Firefly. So I'd say that's that's definitely up to par. If I were to change the style, let's make it more just like photography realistic. And we'll see what it comes up with as more of a realistic option. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so then from here you have Creative Fusion. You could upload an image and give it a reference image and have it kind of fuse the two of them together. So you see some examples here. I'm gonna upload an example. So I have a zombie portrait, scary looking guy. I'm gonna upload this and then for my style image, I'm gonna go to custom and I'm just gonna use a selfie of myself. And in this little button in the middle here, you could swap it, which actually I'm gonna do that. So that button basically swaps your reference image versus your style image. So I'm gonna do that for my render mode. That's okay, I'm gonna hit generate. And you see it maintains the structure of my selfie, uh, my face shape, my hair, everything it looks pretty good. But then you have image variation, which is another one. It gives you different variations of specific images. So if I were to choose an example here of this headshot of this girl, and I could change the variation, I'm gonna leave it at like 50%. And I, if I just hit generate, what it's gonna do is, you can see it's subtly changing the features of her. So it changes the image very subtly So if you wanted to do like a face transformation or, you know, uh, something where a scene changes, this would be good for that. This is good for like architecture, 
It's good for like product mock-up designs. You see here they have a car transforming. Photo to sketch. This is similar to the sketch rendering that we did, but this is basically the sketch rendering in reverse. And we have background diffusion. As you can see, this kind of just changes the background of certain images. So if you had a kind of a PNG, it'll put it into a scene for you. This would be good for like some green screen stuff. If you had a subject shot on green screen, you could create a background easily that kind of blends in with the way the lighting is. So it's really good for mock-ups like this. AI supermodel, this is a little bit out there. I've never seen this before, but um, you could create different AI supermodels based on the criteria. So here you can see the prompt and you have the structure reference of this younger gentleman. And it's basically using that as the structural reference and it generates what the prompts would be. So this is great, you know, if you don't have the budget for a model and you have a specific look that you're going for. And then you have stuff like text effects where you could give it a prompt and it can stylize the text however you want it. This is pretty cool. So illustration, architectural illustrations, AI headshot. You could create a headshot based on a reference shot and the criteria that you put in. So this is my reference selfie and this is the final result that Prome AI gave me. Then we get to the image editing, which is a lot like the Adobe stuff that we talked about in the past. This is the HD upscaler. You can see the difference if you get in close here. It just upscales images that are a little bit blurry, a little bit grainy, images that look a little too AI generated. You can see here, it makes it look a little more realistic, very natural. Erase and replace, this, this is perfect just if you don't really have Photoshop and you wanna get rid of certain things in your shot, and then we have outpainting. This is the same thing as Adobe's generative expand feature. So I have a still of a video clip here and I'm just gonna generate a prompt and let's make it a little apocalyptic. This is really useful for adding certain elements to your frame and expanding your frame. I'm gonna add this to a video clip later and I'll show you how that looks. Background remover. This is just a quick and easy Photoshop. If you wanna select your subject, you can see it does a pretty good job. Again, another Photoshop tool that if you didn't have Photoshop, this is fantastic. Relight. You could basically relight your image and you know change the color to it. So this has a little hair light here that is turning green. I could lower that. I could add another light, add some blue to his this zombie's shoulder. And then we have the video tools down here, like image to video. This is super cool. You could take paintings, art, or just an image and make it move and add movement to it. So if I upload an image here, I'm gonna use this headshot of myself. I'll change this setting to high, and then I'll hit generate. And you can see the results. It adds movement to my photo. It's a little bit creepy with the eyelids and stuff, but overall, it's pretty impressive. Okay, so let's look at this one. This is with the low motion. See, this does a little bit better. This could be great for like a GIF or something where you want a little bit of motion in an image or a headshot. And then we go to text to video, which is just like you say, you put in a prompt and it generates a really, this is a really beautiful video. So let's see if we could add a prompt and see how this does. So my prompt is going to be basically a zombie having a picnic. So then we'll go to photography. I'm gonna make this cinematic. And then motion, I'll set that to low because we know high was a little bit out there. Okay, so then here, this is the final result. Another big win for Prome AI is its user friendliness. Everything is neatly organized in one place, making it a breeze to use compared to juggling multiple Adobe tools. Plus, the results are just as impressive as what you get from Adobe, with a few kinks to still work out, as with any AI software. So if you're looking for a powerful and user-friendly AI tool, then Prome AI is the way to go. Here's some of the final results of my composites that I created using Prome AI and After Effects.